We're on the furthest outer island in the Bahamas, the most southerly island, targeting bonefish. We're gonna go fish in Oceanside Flat today and see what the fishery is like on the exterior lagoons and outside ocean flats, closest to these uh, intake pumps that bring the salt water into the interior lagoon, and possibly bonefish larva as well. Whoa, that looks money. Well, well, well. If I was to paint the perfect bonefish habitat, it would look a lot like this. Looks like bonefish paradise. Really, we don't know what we're gonna run into. I mean, for us, this is unexplored. We've never been here before. Yeah, we saw this little area way up top the lighthouse. Now we just need to find some fish. I'd be very surprised if there aren't some fish there. Whether or not we're gonna find them, you know, that's left to be seen. Divide and conquer, game on. We're sight fishing. We're actually trying to see the fish, then presenting the fly or the lure to it, and trying to get it to eat. To see through this water, we need high sun and no clouds. If you don't have full sun, then it's gonna be a challenging day. Holy smokes, man. Look at its eyes, it looks like a cartoon. There he goes, later, dude. All right, now where's the bonefish? Something going on over here. I'm scouting across looking for bonefish and I just see this dark figure out on the coral line. I'm like, holy smokes. Trigger fish, big one. And I'm just like, all right, I've never caught one of these fish. How do I get one of these fish on my line? Oh, I can see it coming. Eat it. There he is. Yeah, bud. Yeah, buddy. Oh, sweet. Look at him go. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, buddy. Big trigger, dude. Woo. Oh, yeah, buddy. Hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's my first trigger ever, right there. Look at that guy. First trigger fish I've ever caught. And one of the weirdest fish you have ever laid your eyes on for sure, and they are awesome. Look at that, that thing looks like it belongs on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the moon, Thad. We are on the moon. Go on, buddy. Oh. Well done, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. Woo! What a blast. What an incredible opportunity. So I was walking up to this point, looking for bonefish. And uh, I seen all these pelicans diving in the water. Diving in the water. And I'm like, man, there's gotta be a bunch of bait fish up there. Then noticed a huge school of jacks. They hunt in packs, and there was definitely a pack of jacks in there hunting bait fish, slamming them up against the rocks. They're really cool fish, man. They're, they're fun to catch. They're super hard fighters. They're hungry. Here he is. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here, here he comes. Mm. Got you. Oh, I like Donkey Kong. Man, that was awesome. Stay on there, I think I gotta get a hook set. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a good way to start the morning. Yeah, baby. That's a good one. Super stoked that that happened. We still need to get a bunch more fish and um, hopefully, uh, you know, a 10 pound bone fish. So we gotta keep pushing. See you, buddy. Go home. Bonefish. They're a lot of fun to go after, but at the same time, they are notoriously spooky fish. You have to be incredibly stealthy walking the flats around here. If they hear something that they're not used to, then they're gonna spook and you're not gonna have a chance in hell at catching them. Fish, 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 fish. The cool thing about it is that it all happens so close to you. You see every element, you see every aspect of it. Coming right at you, Brian. You see the fish take interest in the fly. There's a school of them. You see the fish come, and that's when you hit them. He's on! Holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. Yeah. 
He was nosing it, dude. He was just right behind it. He's like, am I going to eat it? Am I going to eat it? I feel like the results were pretty good. We did find some bonefish on the outer side of the island. Um, just like with this uh, research project that Justin's doing. That's a nice bone. Senior bonefish. So the next step will be to try and explore some of these lagoons on the interior. So we're going out with Justin. Tomorrow, we're gonna drop a fish trap on the interior down current from the pump to see if uh, he can collect any bonefish larvae there as well. Then we'll actually get a chance to go in and see for ourselves whether or not there's some big fish living in the interior lagoon. And hopefully, fingers crossed, double digit bonefish. They should, there should be fish there. If there's no fish there, then we've got a problem. Today, we're meeting Justin so we can pull the fish trap from the interior side of the canal. And fingers crossed that there's some bonefish larvae in there. Trap's still there, that's good. What's in it? The moment of truth. See little critters in there? All right, and let's take it up on land. Sure. Be able to get a closer, better look. If he can collect any fish larvae inside this fish trap, you know, to prove these larvae are actually making their way through the pump system, it's gonna answer a lot of questions as to how these bonefish are getting into the interior lagoons. Oh yeah, whoa! Whoa, dude! Whoa! Crabby! Look at that. Look, you never know what you're gonna get in these. <laughs> See any bonefish? Yep. Got some. Sweet. Here we go. There, there they are. There's one. There's a bonefish larvae right there. That's super cool. So what's this telling you, man? So this tells me that these larvae are able to survive going through that pump, which is really crazy, especially like the amount of pressure and then the turbines, they're able to survive that and then get shot out through this channel and then make it out into what, this is basically prime juvenile habitat. So that just helps support the theory that these fish wouldn't be back here if it wasn't for these pumps. Because historically, this was a landlocked lake. Right. Yeah. Mystery solved. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man. That's yeah, man. sweet. That's awesome. I'm like yeah. super, I'm really yeah. psyched right now, actually. <laughs> yeah. We now know that fish larvae are getting pumped to the interior lagoon from the ocean. So the mystery is answered.